I'm here in the city that never sleeps for championship week and the Big East tournament. Is there really any other? And while I've been here in New York, in Washington, D.C., the Republicans were rolling out the repeal and replacement of Obamacare, long sought after, and quite bluntly, several conservative Republicans, myself included, were a little dismayed that after seven years, the Republicans really didn't come up with a more extensive and comprehensive replacement plan for Obamacare once it's repealed. But having said that, it's a good start. You need it to begin, and this is it. President Trump is saying that he's willing to listen to other ideas while still giving support to the Ryan package, and the Congress has now begun the process of marking up the bill, meaning a series of negotiations and revisions to the original act. Where they really need to focus is on the mandates that were tucked into the 2,000-plus page Obamacare that you remember we had to read or, or pass so that we could read and find out what was actually in it, and the taxes that remain, most notably the tax on durable medical goods and excise tax and the so-called Cadillac tax, which is simply delayed, not repealed under the original House version. It's a good start, but there's still a lot of work yet to be done. We're going to see a lot of it this week, especially after the Congressional Budget Office scores the bill, telling us what the overall impact on the federal budget will be. That's a quickie from New York City, but it is the best 60 seconds of your week.